But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find a way to keep Christmas from coming. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like St. Nick. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he pitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, Get out! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Hoos lay a snooze in their town. And he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. And he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorns and plums. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of hoo hash. Then he snuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Then he did the same thing to the other who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other who's mouses. It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's still abed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. But Christmas does come, as we all soon shall see, for the Who's Down in Whoville and their magnificent tree. To all of you listening, the tall and the small, thanks for your ears. I've had quite a ball. Now sit back, relax, bundle up from the cold. The rest of our story is about to unfold. Ladies and gentlemen, the Whoville Factory, the Molly Ringwald. <laughs> 